Welcome again. Today we look at topic 10 for IB chemistry, organic chemistry. Looking specifically at explaining the trends and boiling points of members of a homologous series. What is a homologous series? It refers to a family of compounds that obey the same general formula. And each member of that family differs from the other by a common structural unit. Let's consider a family, the alkanes. The alkane family includes methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, and hexane. The general formula for an alkane is CnH2n plus 2. So in the case of ethane, the formula becomes C2H6, where 2 times 2 equals 4, plus 2 equals 6, giving us C2H6 for ethane. Methane differs from ethane by the presence of an extra carbon atom, which adds an extra CH2. Propane adds another CH2. As the length of the chain grows longer from methane with one carbon atom to hexane with six carbon atoms, notice the trend in the boiling point. With methane having a boiling point of negative 161 degrees Celsius, ethane negative 89 degrees Celsius, propane negative 42, butane negative 0.5 degrees Celsius, and then liquids at room temperature, pentane with a boiling point of 36 degrees, degrees Celsius. It is clear that there is a trend in boiling point with the increasing length of the chain bringing a higher boiling point. But what is the reason for this trend? And the answer lies in the increasingly strong intermolecular forces that exists between one chain and another chain as the molecules become longer. Specifically, the London dispersion forces become much more significant the longer the chain. The longer the chain, the more bonding that there is. Specifically, intermolecular bonding. But what about if there's branching in a chain, as is the case when the molecule becomes longer? Would these structural isomers, as they're called, would they have the same boiling point? And if the basis for the boiling point lies in the strength of the intermolecular forces, specifically the London dispersion forces, then it follows that the less branching that there is, the better the packing of one chain with another chain. So less branching would give rise to better bonding or packing and a higher boiling point. Where branching exists, less branching gives better bonding or packing, which gives a higher boiling point. The alkanes are a homologous series, and a homologous series is a group that's unified by a common structure. They have a common general formula. They participate in similar reactions. And in many cases, they have a functional group that is particularly reactive and it characterizes the reactions of the group. In the case of the alkanes, such a functional group does not actually exist, but some other functional groups include the alkenyl functional group of the alkenes, the alkynyl functional group of the alkynes, the carboxyl functional group of the carboxylic acids, the aldehyde functional group of the aldehydes, the carbonyl functional group of the ketones, the amino functional group of the amines, the hydroxyl functional group of the alcohols, and the phenyl functional group of the arenes. And the chemistry of each of these functional groups will be considered in other lessons.